modern anglers should use the GPS technology combined with Google Earth in the best way possible to maximize productivity. One way to do that is to set up your GPS screen with waypoints designating both sweet spots and places to park. Now this is particularly true if you're a wade fisherman. It doesn't, it's not relevant if you like to fish out of the boat all the time. <clears throat> But by doing so, by setting up waypoints where you like to park the boat and where the sweet spots are, you can fish much more precisely. But more importantly, you can access the sweet spots quickly and easily even when sight conditions are poor. Like if you're coming up to the spot before daylight or in the dark or in a thick fog or perhaps if the water is really calm so you can't see into the water at all because of the glare. So here you see an example of this where I have a track line over here so the process here I would come off plane on my track and ease over to this 0206 which you can't see here is an anchor spot it's not designating that way on Google Earth but it does on my GPS screen so when I park here at 0206, I know that these three micro spots as I'm parking, I can see what direction they are from where I'm parking. And I know from experience about the distance they are from the boat. These three micro spots are associated with a rock formation, so they are permanent. They're not going to change at all. If the micro spot is related to an open water grass bed sandbar system, it creates a little bit different situation. I still want anchor icons designating places to leave the boat when I'm starting a wade. I want them far enough away from the sweet spot so that I feel like I'm not spooking the fish as I pull up, but I want them close enough to where I can walk a familiar distance and know that I'm casting at the sweet spot. In this case I have two of them because at times the grass grows all the way closer in between them and I want to park in a different place on a north wind than I would on a south wind. So I want two of these anchor spots associated with the sweet spot. Doing this is a way to effectively maximize the amazing power of the combination of Google Earth and GPS technology.